Hi, my name is Jeff Carrion. I'm a crew chief, and today I want to talk to you about our props and prop systems on our P3. I want to introduce you to one of two WP3D Orions Hurricane Hunter aircraft. This is Miss Piggy. We fly these planes through the storm, straight through the middle, in and out, multiple times every event. How we do this is by our T56-14 Series 3.5 engines. We have four of them. Each one can produce up to 4,600 shaft horsepower, which gives us that thrust needed. The main thing to get us through these storms is the prop. The prop is a Hamilton standard. It uh, consists of a dome, a prop hub assembly, pump housing, valve housing. The dome is like a piston. It gets a signal from the fluid flow coming from the pump housing. And that piston increases and decreases the pitch every time it gets that signal by the fluid flow. When we want increased pitch, we want it on demand because the storm is always giving us different wind conditions and different flight characteristics with turbulence. So we need to keep the power going. So when the flight engineer puts his power lever to the firewall for more power, that sends a signal to your valve housing here. Your valve housing takes that input signal from this gear it goes through a bunch of switches, servos, valves, and many other small parts that makes this thing work. And it sends the gears down at the bottom here to the pump housing and tells it, increase that floor hydraulic fluid or decrease that floor hydraulic fluid. When you do that, that piston increases by moving forward or decreases by moving aft. And in turn, it moves your blades to an increased pitch or a decreased pitch by some segment gears. The valve housing itself is the brains of the operation. This valve housing takes all your input signals, it monitors other parameters with the prop, and it tells the prop what to do. So it automatically knows how much fluid flow we need to increase when we ask for it. I want to show you a couple of things here on the valve housing. To keep us safe, we have a lot of annunciator lights. A lot of those lights come from the valve housing when come to the prop, and it comes through these switches here. And we have NTS switches on this side. If we have a negative torque, it senses it and it actuates the switch and it'll help us with keeping that prop under control. The valve housing also controls the constant speed, which this prop is a constant speed variable pitch. That constant speed is controlled by the speed bias motor back here. It keeps us within a certain RPM range. So we're always in a safe condition. We don't have an underspeed or overspeed. The valve has a filter system with an upgraded Micron filter screen to keep the fluid clean, make sure there's no hiccups, because like I said before, it's all critical. And the variable pitch portion comes from the commands of the power levers coming into your valve housing, going down into your pump, going out to your dome, which moves those blades. So we can get more power or less power without changing the speed of that prop. 